Hi, my name's Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man and today we're going to be talking all about Lapis Lazuli. This is one of the most special crystals for one of the most special angels ever as well. Let me start this video off as I'm going to teach you. This is Lapis Lazuli. This is Lapis right here. I'm going to teach you things about Lapis Lazuli that you can't find online. This is not the crystal that people think it is. It's actually more. So let's talk about Lapis Lazuli now. It's a stone that resonates with the third eye and crown chakra as well as the throat chakra. It's such a rich and beautiful and deep blue. Lapis lazuli comes in many different colors, many different forms. But when you understand the deepest color of lapis is actually the most valuable, that's when it's the most valuable energetically and spiritually. Now, the lapis I have on my website, for example, people ask, why is your lapis so dark? And then I ask myself, and I ask them, rather, do you not understand that the other lapis it's really good but the deepest darkest lapis is the most valuable and the most energetically protective and the most opening of your third eye so very often or not lapis is dyed so people will actually take the white lapis and white lapis they call it uh i've seen some crazy names denim jeans uh the mixed lapis whatever they sometimes take soda light and they dye it blue to try to sell it as lapis lapis should be kind of expensive not kind of it should be up there good lapis cheap lapis okay but you should pay a, a good deal for lapis if you're getting cheap lapis it's most likely dyed what's another way to tell if lapis is dyed is because you look at it and uh because this is real lapis that's not dyed look at that beauty so one way you can tell is iron specks of pyrite so you look at the, at the lapis and you'll see these little specks but even dyed lapis can have specks of pyrite so dyed lapis is usually it was white at one point or white had white spots because it wasn't the highest grade and someone tried to pass it off as the highest grade lapis lazuli at the moment is ethically harvested so i never sell crystals that are unethically harvested you have to look what's going on in afghanistan to understand if it's being ethically harvested or not so when i said when i obtain new lapis from the source or different sources because you can get them in different places in the united states but it's not as good as afghan lapis afghan lapis is its own kind you also have to check it to see if it's being mined currently. If uh, That's more so what I do on my side. So Lapis is actually one of the most powerful gemstones ever. It opens your spiritual power. I'm going to say this is the most important part about Lapis right now. Lapis is the crystal of St. Michael the Archangel. This is his gemstone. That's his gemstone. When you work with him, he'll ask you to wear it. He will literally whisper in your ear, Hey, I would like you to wear this gemstone. It's going to protect you. This is the most powerful beautiful gemstone in my opinion out of uh most of the gemstones i have right now it's it's when i look at lapis i'm just like wow and even just here's a secret just by looking at lapis it opens your third eye it stimulates the pineal because that's the color of the third eye it's an indigo so you can look at other crystals too but just by looking at my lapis will stimulate your third eye now i'm gonna give you some exercise in this video too so lapis opens the third eye because it resonates with the third eye it literally opens it by frequency it opens it by its power it cleans the third eye it calms you down it gets rid of spiritual headaches disclaimer this is a spiritual channel it's not a physical channel but spiritual headaches it, it get it's purifying it has return to sender effects which a lot of people don't know it arms saint michael the archangel to be able to help you in ways that you don't really know so it gives it helps the angelic realm meet this realm and this is actually technically the most protective color that we can perceive and this actually lapis blue they call it hand blue is actually a, uh, a color that no evil spirit can lay their hands upon i'm gonna say right now if you ever see uh in the south them putting up bottles it's because it's so protective you ever see those bottle trees it's because it's lapis blue so lapis as a gemstone puts off that energy in your aura it literally adds that color to your aura it makes your aura a lapis blue and it's it's very disturbing it's kind of like those hand sanitizer lights that kind of like zzz, kills germs simply by like just being uh, a light <laughs> well there's more to that but just for simple sake uh so it literally kills spiritual germs so let's just say you have these negative energies it just does it by its light by the beautiful 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 light it puts off it enchants the throat chakra and i'm going to talk about that so it gives you abilities to be very confident and very bold about what you're saying it gives you a very powerful strength it gives you a sureness it opens your spirituality so uh for people who wear spiritual i mean 
people who wear spirituality, some people do wear spirituality the wrong way, but for people who wear lapis and would like to undercover uh, some of their gifts, it makes, it has a tendency to make people more interested in spirituality. This alongside gemstones such as K2, so it really opens the person up. And for example, if you know someone who just doesn't care about spirituality at all, and that's why they're having problems, get them lapis from floridastoneman.com. I don't have it as a necklace, but I will have it as a necklace very soon with some amethyst in it. But lapis is so freakishly powerful. Uh, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to balance topic to topic to topic. And I saw, I saw the comments, someone's like, you change your voice. It depends on, uh, that's, I'll tell you more about that later on. But uh, each crystal helps you channel a different truth. So when I switch voices, sometimes it's literally, I'm tapping into a different crystal's energy. So sometimes to tap on the people's energy, other people actually uh, take other people's voices, which... I'll talk about that in a future video. So Lapis gives you a voice, a string. So like, yeah, okay. I'm a hundred thousand percent sure on this. So it's really cool. And yet there's different celebrities who know how to change the voice simply because they, they're perceived as different when they uh, put off the voice, but such as Michael Jackson. But back to Lapis, it strengthens the throat chakra. It gives you throat chakra a strength. It gives you a confidence. It gives you a calm. It gives you a peace. It gives you this ability to channel your words in a way that they won't be contaminated. So lapis prevents people from bending your words as well. So, ooh, this is a stone of not being able to twist the truth. So when someone says something when they wear lapis, the, when you speak your truth with lapis, the truth is protected. So you know how people take people's words and twist them and bend them? Like, oh, this person said this about you. And the person never said that. So lapis basically will make it make that so obvious. You know, the, the uh, the, the game telephone that you would play in middle school so it basically ends the game of telephone when people start doing it incorrectly so when you pass on your well, when you say something to someone the word you put out is protected you can ring a pitch bell and the pitch bell will go ding and it will hit every wall of your house so your voice has is enchanted with gemstones when you wear them a throat chakra gemstones and when you send your voice out it, it literally coats the voice in that blue color so you have to it's actually one of the most protective crystals ever by its vibration. Now, I'm going to teach a secret, an angelic secret for the people. And this is definitely seven minutes in. So for the people who are interested in angelology, which most of you are who watch my channel, uh, demonologists can't practice angelology. They just can't. It doesn't. It's oil. And, it's oil and water. It doesn't mix. You don't see demons chilling in heaven. You don't see the devil chilling with uh, St. Michael in heaven. No, that doesn't exist. That's a... Uh, Usually trickster spirits, trickster, trickster de demons, trickster lower level entities will throw that in there, but Lapis gives you such a beautiful truth, and it's something, okay, I'll get to this in, in the future, but Lapis is the blue ray. Let me pause right now, because this, this will confuse some people. Lapis embodies the blue ray, the blue flame the blue it's basically because when we get into the next in different worlds and different dimensions they're in, they're basically embodied by rays so saint michael embodies the blue flame the blue ray that's why you'll hear about it in different latin cultures different uh, uh just in different cultures different traditions they'll call it the blue flame the blue ray it's because this is what he governs it's the most protective ray it's the most protective flame and it literally gives you an element it gives you a power over the throat chakra so that's one thing about lapis it gives you that protective it's just flat out protection now you really have to understand lapis is protected by its vibration so what about lapis and tourmaline lapis i mean tourmaline is more so protective in this physical world and lapis is protective in the spiritual world now let me go into detail about lapis being a spiritually protective crystal lapis is so spiritually protective that it, it basically purifies it sends a light it's kind of like like i said the germ light so any dark entities dark energies demons don't like lapis because it armors you i'm going to talk about this really cool aspect about lapis right now lapis is so cool in the sense that <laughs> and this is my favorite part about lapis it's a return to sender crystal without people knowing it how is this possible? It's because this gemstone energetically arms your angels. It arms your guides. So Lapis, is a, its energy literally reinforces your angelic protections. It, 
okay, I'm gonna show you an example. The iron specks of pyrite and lapis. Yeah, I'm gonna hold my lapis up a bunch of times. You see the iron specks of pyrite? Yeah, beautiful. So think of it as a shield. So St. Michael shields you, he protects you. It's a shield. So it kinda passes, because sometimes you have to understand, your angels cannot do certain things until they actually are, sh they are given an, a certain energy. They're given a certain, uh, they're given a certain material, for example. So when I talk about crystals arm your angels, people don't understand the concept. So I have to try to explain it a little bit differently. So it kind of like passes them a weapon. If you have a, a, a character in a video game, which this is a good example. So if you have a character in the video game and you have a team full of characters, you're the main character. And, and yes, your, your guides are the main characters as well, but you're living the reality. They're kind of helping you along until you get to the afterlife. Now, you're all friends together there, but you're friends together here too, but crystals literally take an energy and it passes it to your angels. That's what Lapis does. So to the angels that govern the blue ray, to St. Michael's, uh, to all the guardians in St. Michael's uh, squad or army, now they're armed with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vibration of protection. So they're given, they're all given shields to protect you. If you want to know how many angels protect you at a time, it's more than thousands. But if that that's a little too trippy to be teaching about because people are like, what, what do you mean there's thousands of angels? If you ever wonder why there's uh, angel numbers and stuff like that, it's because even though, like, I, I don't want to call them small angels, but little... Uh, they're not little either they're background angels they're like okay we, we're not here to be seen we're not here some of them are just just don't get i mean are not there to get acknowledged they're more so to do their assignment in job and and for other people i heard some person comment uh angels are like ants and robots that person lost their angels when they commented that it's, it's not it's actually in my youtube shorts but that person lost some not some they lost a whole bunch of angels simply by commenting that their angels did not like that and uh, most of them, but their guardian left, which I actually talked about. And you can slap your angels in the face like that, leaving a comment like that. I don't read the shorts often, so I'm, I try to reply to you guys on, on as often as, as I can on the shorts. But if I see a negative comment, it's uh, usually returned to sender. So I try not to read the negative comments. But now that's the thing about angels. They actually enjoy using the vibrations because it's literally like a video game for them. They're having fun. It's, it's fun. It's putting down negative energy is fun. It's kind of like whack-a-mole for them. So these smaller angels that hop around slaying negative energy, it's fun. There's a lot of glory in being an angel. So Lapis literally arms these angels to have more fun. If you wonder why, why are my angels protecting me sometimes? It's probably because you're not wearing Lapis. <laughs> it gives them an extra ability to do things here. What does it mean to be a medium? What does it mean to be um, go in the in-between? It means, I just said it, you go in, in between. That's why it's called a medium, because you go between this world and their world, which their world's an actual world. I'm not gonna say any more about that, but you meet them in between. And that, the Lapis energy arms them between the in-between. So one thing about the ar their armor, it's very, very, very powerful to be returned on any kind of energy to them. What I mean by that? Okay. I'm gonna make this very clear. So they can return energy on your behalf without you knowing it. I'm gonna tell you, have you ever seen someone do black magic? And it seems like even though no one did a return ascender, no one did a cleansing, no one did a hex, it returned back to them. It's kind of like the energies of Lapis, that blue ray energy. And imagine if that person had Lapis and it's returned ascender times like a hundred thousand, but it's that person's guides literally sending back energy so that person doesn't get the karma and so that they learn from their own actions energetically that's what lapis does times like a hundred and you, when you work with lapis max give fire a gate and a crystal such as black tourmaline it red it, it just returns it so hard it basically cancels the person out but people are like oh, i don't want to cancel my enemy out i just want to do the black magic and not affect me do you think that's how life works can you have someone trying to try to break in your house and when they're not fully breaking into your house, like they're not bothering anyone. They're not bothering me because that energy's not getting in. They're just trying to break in. <laughs> no, that doesn't work like that because eventually they'll find a way. They'll accidentally leave the door open and they'll slip in. I mean, for people who actually think like that spiritually deserve to get whatever they get hit by, 
because it's kind of dangerous to not defend yourself in that way. So, first thing, for example, if someone constantly leaves their front door open, like wide open, not like unlocked, like open, and then something gets in or someone gets in the house, then they had to learn their lesson. So what am I saying about Lapis? It's extremely protective and it helps other, it helps your enemies learn their lessons because it embodies them with that ray of energy. Now, to make it easy, how if you forget, how does Lapis send back negative energy? Because the, the pyrite in it, which pyrite is a return to sender crystal as well. I forgot to put that in the pyrite video, so I'll put that in this video. But it's more so a return to sender with Lapis because it puts off the blue ray, it's the blue light, incinerating light, and it arms them. So I have not talked as much about third, Lapis being a third eye crystal. It strengthens the third eye. It opens the third eye and it opens gifts, but it does a whole bunch more so that the gifts can open. That's the best way to understand it. I have the best lapis in the entire world at floridastoneman.com. I have the dark Afghan lapis. It's the best, highest quality lapis you can ever find. You see that white lapis? Not mine. <laughs> Not mine. But I have the best of the best of the best lapis. It's very underrated. The darker lapis but it's the best you can get it from floridastoneman.com it's not dyed it's not heat treated and it's ethically harvested if you have any questions you can ask them in the comment section until then i'll see you guys next time ciao